What is going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to share with you exactly how I'm cash flowing over $20,000 a month through rental arbitrage without owning any property. With that being said, if you've been a supporter of my channel for quite some time, you can go back to the first Airbnb video that I uploaded. I believe this was sometime in late 2018 that I started documenting my process and doc documenting the experience here on YouTube. You know, it didn't start out as something glamorous and if you guys know my story, you know that this here took time, it took dedication, to grit, and it took uh, being in the trenches more than anything else. To start things off, let's talk about the month of July. I started this month with eight listings that I was managing. Uh, I had nine towards the end of last year. Coming into this year, I was at nine, and unfortunately I had to back out of one of the leases, and uh, you know that's something that I really haven't updated you all with, but that happened, that change happened, and the property that I, I backed out of it just wasn't making sense with the numbers, location, certain certain things, certain factors went into me making that decision to break the lease on that property and uh, that opened up new doors. So when I backed out of that lease, I ended up finding a multifamily home, which I made a video about, uh, you know, my, my most recent video, I talked about the multifamily strategy. And what you will see here, these numbers that I'm showing here are the numbers off of 11 doors, 11 rental arbitrage units, which three have been added this month. Started the month off with eight, set up and listed three units. I still have two more units that I'm currently working on getting listed. It's a process, it's a lot of work that goes into it. So that brings me to the strategy on how I'm able to have such high profit margins and in a month like July where the travel is picking up, even though uh, you know we're dealing with what we're dealing with in the world and the current state of events, travel is picking up. There's honestly uh, no slowing down in the demand that uh, we're seeing and experiencing. Because of that, I'm able to share with you numbers like I will in this video. And I was able to cash flow so well, and I'll talk about this a little bit more, using a very effective strategy for scaling, for growth. And without further ado, let's jump into the computer and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. First thing I'm going to show you is the calendar so you get a visual understanding of what 20,000 looks like in a month. Uh, and like I said, to start the, the month off, we only had eight listings. I added three mid-month. Uh, you can kind of see that here. Uh, so let's just go through here. I'll scroll and, and you kind of get an understanding of the volume of bookings and what it looks like. Uh, blocked off dates, uh, the rates, that type of thing. You know, it's been a very, very productive month. And this is honestly my goal, which looking at here, the multi-calendar, the way the, the bookings look, just coming in full occupancy. This has been my goal for so for so long, and we're finally here. Uh, like I said, this is one of my accounts. Uh, my other account is just right over here, and it did $2,000 in revenue. We did about $16,200 on Airbnb, $1,018 on Booking.com, and 842 on Verbo. And that brings us to a total of $18,132 with one of my accounts, and then 2,086 with my other account in total July earnings. Uh, the gross amount, as you see here, is 20218 when you add these two numbers up. And our expenses are $7,200. Uh, this is everything included, utilities, internet, uh, rent, anything that you could think of uh, expense-wise is included in this price here, uh, bringing us to a total net of about $12,800 in the month of July. Now this is incredible and to go over the rents and this is a little rent chart that I have uh, keeping track of you know the utilities, rent payments, that type of thing. Uh, you can see the, the primary reason why our cost is so low and right now um, what you're looking at here is just the rent rolls and these bottom three units are rent free so we haven't paid any of this, no deposits, no rent for the month of July on these three units. Um, so this number is actually $5,100 and then I'm calculating my rent for rent utilities for the other account, uh, which is roughly around $900, bringing the total expense to uh, $7,200. And the key component to having such great profit margins when doing rental arbitrage is definitely getting low rent rates. That is something that I cannot stress enough. And if you're looking into getting your own rental arbitrage venture, or you know you're managing a few properties, whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, it's, it's very important to keep in mind that the lower rent rates are how you win here and we can see that very clearly with companies like Lyric and Stay Alfred uh, who have who shuttered most of their doors and they're kind of taking a step back with these rental arbitrage operations and the reason being is because they probably had really high rent rolls 
and their rent expenses were, were too much to cover even through uh, you know recession uh, or, or a pandemic as you know we're currently facing with that being said this is all there is to it you know just just managing your properties accordingly and scaling cautiously scaling um, you know with with caution but also being strategic with it and making sure that you're getting through um, hard times these projections these numbers are very strong very powerful and to be grossing um, 20,000 in a month on any given business I'd say it's, it's a pretty good and, and solid opportunity the key here is not to own a real estate I'm cash flowing as if I own 11 rental properties I know there's a lot of people out there you know on YouTube you know making videos about owning real estate owning rental properties cash flowing in real estate making passive income that whole that whole spiel I'm sure you guys have heard all about it but technology has now brought us to a new era where you can cash like you own a rental property without actually owning a rental property now this to me is exciting and I've always wanted to be involved in real estate somehow it's obviously one of the greatest ways to build wealth and transfer wealth over to your children and, and it, it just stays in the family you know once you get that ball rolling this is something that I'm grateful to be able to share with you here all on my channel and if you enjoy this video be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos um, I hope this was I hope this gives you some insight on what potential you have out there to actually go and change your life and, and make a path for yourself that doesn't necessarily consist of a nine to five and if you have a nine to five right now you could easily be doing what I'm doing it takes less than an hour a day to manage communications and every single time that I get an inquiry or a booking it's just a quick message as if it's just a text message coming in and stay on top of it stay prompt if you have any questions about what I do and, and how I do it please leave them down below in the comments I would love to help you guys out um, you know this is it I'm currently working on um, a way to, to schedule a consultation service so that I can receive consultation calls I can share very strategic key points that are not readily available to you on blogs on the internet or on YouTube and this would definitely help you out in making some strategic moves here in the upcoming months you know I hope everyone has been having a decent year it's not been the best year for you know the entire world I'd say but I hope everyone is getting through this just fine I have added a corporate lease addendum to SDR Accelerator and this lease addendum has honestly helped me close apartments which have never done corporate housing which have never done anything like what we're doing here and what I'm teaching on my channel and therefore I think this would be very useful let's talk about str accelerator and what i've added to this course like i mentioned uh, just moments ago i added this corporate lease addendum this corporate lease addendum is so valuable to have especially when you're in big cities like kansas city and you are going out and facing some very professional people and some very professional management companies bringing something like this to the table is definitely a, a very valuable tool and a quick story about this i was in kansas city just pitching lofts pitching high rises in downtown and we actually uh, came across this loft who had never heard or done this before in the past and they used our corporate lease addendum to actually sign over three units um, unfortunately we had to break the lease on that because of the pandemic this corporate lease addendum definitely is effective for anybody looking to use that uh, the presentation scripts are still money these are very effective uh, to this day so if you want to use the presentation scripts for pitching homeowners landlords property management companies this is very effective as well uh, the lease agreement uh, this is more for single-family homes and maybe multifamily homes uh, the corporate lease item is more for apartments and this brings me to airbnb mastery the course so if you've taken this course and um, you know you went through this is more of a beginner's tool and that's why I dropped the price to 297 uh, moving forward to SR Accelerator this is the ultimate Airbnb rental arbitrage guide and this is you know me in 2020 I released this product and this is my strategy to renting apartments to staging them in this beautiful manner what you see in this thumbnail here that's one of my listings incredibly proud and incredibly happy with um, the work that's been put into this product so if you can go through and, and just have a look at the curriculum for yourself uh, there is hours and hours of footage here um, and information that will definitely help you if you are looking for a more strategic guide on how to do what it is that I do the scene is ever-changing here in the rental arbitrage space you know the old uh, can I Airbnb replace pitch 
that has worked in the past is getting more complex. People are starting to become aware of that. And because of this, you have to readjust your strategy. And because of that, this corporate release dynamic will definitely be of much help and much use to you. So with that being said, please check that out. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And thank you for sticking along with me throughout these past couple of years here. It's been two years uh, that I've been making videos on YouTube. Stay blessed and I will see you in the next video.